Hello everyone, I'm Nicholas and in this video I'm going to show you how to export an animated character from Softimage into UDK, the Unreal Development Kit, using a plugin for Softimage called Spices. Ok, let's start uh, with building our character. So the plugin can be found here under Animate Character Spices Omnid and let's put the pop-up window in here and let's build, um, if you choose import mail, it will build a base mesh that by the way can be replaced with your own mesh ok um, if you want to do some proportional modeling means that you can adjust the proportion of your uh, character what you need to do is to grab those controllers the blue one can be moved and the red one can be scaled as you wish Okay, let's move it a bit. Okay, once you're happy with your proportional modeling, you can build the rig and you can build it by uh, using this plugin. But first, let's open the explorer. Yeah, let's build the anim rig. And you, you have to pick the Omnid mail prop rig in order to build the, uh, the rig for this character. For the animation animation process, I'm going to use a BBH file downloaded from the web, and I'm going to use Modder to basically tag all the points and all the necessary things. So the rig has been done, has been created, and now let's start using Modder. Choose Modder, tag rig. Ah, yeah, first you have to select the anim rig, tag rig. And from here, what you can do is you can tag manually each one of them, but luckily with the plugin is shipped and uh, um, a tag already made that's called Omnid Anim Rig. Let's choose this, and as you can see here, it's already set up for what we need. Let's go back again to Motor and choose Mockup to Rig. And in here, we have to choose our BVH file. So, okay the bvh file set and let's choose which one we want to use I, ch I will choose the backflip animation there we go and in here you have to create a tag template for the bvh file in order to recognize basically the the rig itself and to match the, the the skeleton of the bvh file with our own so let's create one from scratch there we go okay i'm going to isolate the bvh file and here you have to uh, tag them manually the good thing is that if you have live, like a couple of pvh animation file you just need to tag the the template one and then you can reuse it for all your animation okay no problem okay here is a bit of a problem because it will automatically um recognize if you like to the right part of the body will recognize the left part but in here there's a problem with the left upper arm that you have that was recognized as a right toe so you have to manually do that and let's keep moving there we go okay extra parts we have to select the neck the head and the toe okay save I'm going to save it as UDK tag template plate okay and okay the target model will be the anim rig mine was already selected so there we go okay let's hide the bbh file and it apply okay it looks weird just because we have to do one thing select one and two in here and go under the camera properties under uh, camera visibility stats and turn on the custom display info parameter because you have to use the IK there we go okay okay now let's see how the animation behaves but first let's put the timeline to 132 because the animation is the length of the, anim the animation is 132 and if you scroll the timeline you can see that the animation is applied properly very 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 nice okay once you did that 
in order to uh, export the animation into UDK you have to plot the animation so let's do this okay the start frame is 1 and the end frame is 132 so let's hit OK and all the frames are analyzed and plotted okay perfect there's there are some a couple of errors on the bottom but don't worry about that okay once you did that once you plotted it, plotted the animation you have to do one thing since if you export the mm, the file as it is right now you will have some errors uh, what you have to do is you have to delete the bvh file and the mail propric otherwise you're going to have some errors while exporting and uh, while you're trying to uh, use the animation inside UDK okay now let's jump to UDK let's open it first but what you need to do right now is to use the ActorX plugin that allows you to okay that allows you to export your base mesh and your animation into UDK itself so let's go to file export and ActorX from here, okay, we can close the Spices plugin window. And from here, you have to choose a couple of things. First of all, the output folder. I already created um, a folder called Spices Test into the UDK content folder. So let's copy in here, and you have to give the mesh a name. Mine is called I'm Rig Backflip. Uh, the animation file name, that mine is called Flip. Uh, the sequence of uh, the name of the sequence of the animation that because you can have here since you can choose the animation range you can have like a, a couple of animation into the, the the same scene so okay I have one but if I have if I have like two I can choose the animation range from 1 to 132 and for example the other animation starts at 140 and ends at 200 so you can choose which animation you export and give it a name so first of all, let's save the uh, the mesh. Will take a bit because it will. I think it depends how many polygons your mesh has. So it will take like ten seconds to do that. And then you have to plot the animation again. Here it's called digest animation, but basically it will plot again the animation. So once it's saved, it will write a PSK file called and then break back flip. Okay, now it's time to digest the animation, so plot again. It will run the frames again. Okay, and then you have to go to animation manager and here our plotted animation under the animation tab you have to move move under output package. There we go and save as. Okay, the plugin has a bug so you can see what you're typing but just type what you want and save it. There we go, backflip PSA uh, Britain. PSA, as uh, you probably notice, is the animation file. Okay, we are good to go into UDK. Okay, we are here in UDK, the Unreal Development Kit, and let's import the geometry and the animation that we did into Softimage. So let's choose an empty package. Let's import and this is our base mesh. Okay, I will call my uh, package spices Wait. test. Okay, the name is the name of the mesh will be break backflip and this will be like the folder that will contain all our stuff. It's processing the mesh and it will be re it will be recognized as a skeletal mesh, as you will see here. There we go. Now you have to create like another, let's call, subfolder where you have to put your animation. So let's create a new anim set. The package will be the same. So it will be, and the name of the basically subfolder I will call it animations. There we go. Okay, and what we need to do now, since my anim set has been created so in here I have to put the animation okay don't worry about the material of the of the character because I didn't put any so it looks a bit weird so don't worry about that so 
once you are in the anim set editor your mesh is selected in here the skeletal mesh once you go to anim okay in here it's already selected my anim set otherwise you have to select it from the content browser and then hit the arrow here but as you see here there's no animation sequences so uh, what I need to do to import my backflip animation it's quite simple you go to file and you have to import the PSA file that is the backflip animation that we export from Softimage so let's open it and here the animation has been added and all the other animation that you want to apply to your character will be added uh, in here so let's test the animation oh. as you see here it runs perfectly and I didn't make any effort or any extra work to basically made it, made it work into UDK so you see as how it's simple is to export an animation character an animated character from soft image into UDK using both spices and the, the rig that is a very very good rig and well done because as you saw here there's no problem at all there we go okay this was a quick demonstration on how you can export your animated character from Softimage into UDK using the Spices plugin and how to set up and import the animation into UDK. Well, goodbye everyone!